Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I filmed this like sun-kissed esque red lip. I don't know what to call this. Look actually. Oh my god, what am I gonna title this? So today's video is a little get ready with me. I just wanted to talk about my hair number one and just general life things. So I thought I'd film a get ready with me. Of course everything is gonna be listed down below if you're interested in any of the products. I really hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. I think today, oh my god, I look like a little boy. This is cute. My skin, you guys know I don't like primer. It just doesn't really agree with my skin. My skin is so sensitive. So instead, I used a like hydrating moisturizer by Pixi. I'm going to link it down below. It's in my room right now. I can't wait to get it. I've just been using that recently because it's not tacky, but it just makes my skin so smooth and soft before I do makeup. For my actual skin, I think I'm going to use this. I don't know. If it's gonna match me very well. Apart from this really annoying spot here, my skin is actually okay. So I don't wanna wear like a full coverage foundation or anything. So let's just see what the color of this is. I know it really annoys some people, but I don't like to use brushes. Most of the time, I just kind of like to use my fingers on where I need it the most. Wow, that covered that up pretty good. I actually haven't been wearing any face makeup since I had this spot because I just don't like to irritate any breakouts and make them worse. So, so I decided to cut my hair off. Very quick, rash decision. Don't know if I'm gonna regret it, I probably will, but I know I obviously bleached the shit out of my hair last year, like to the point where it was platinum blonde from Jet Black. Dying it back to my natural color wasn't the end of things, like it's still so damaged and just so, you could basically see like a huge like line of where my new growth came in and my bleach was and it was like straggly and dry and it was just it wasn't a look so I decided to cut it all off I'm definitely not planning on keeping it short I want long hair so badly but I really need to get rid of those dead ends because it just didn't look good like it wasn't a good look next up is concealer but I don't think I'm gonna wear concealer because all the ones I have in my like makeup bag at the moment are ones for when I was a little bit paler in the winter time. If I use any of those, it won't match and they all look really, really weird. So I'm just gonna use more of this CC cream just on places I need it most. So like underneath my eyes and around my nose. I feel really weird talking in my bathroom. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm also gonna put some over my eyelids as well because my eyelids are pretty dark. She really like that because it means I don't have to wear too much eye makeup. Sometimes I use my, um, what's this even called? Like dark eyes as eyeshadow, but I'm gonna cover them today. So I don't like, sorry, I'm like getting really close to my mirror right now. Everyone asks, what is she looking at over here? It's a mirror, can you see that? No, you can't, okay. I'm gonna apply some lip balm. This one's by Estee Lauder and it's the blooming lip balm. It's kind of pigmented, a tiny, like tiny, tiny bit. This is all I've been wearing on my lips recently. Um, and in the Bali vlogs as well, everyone was asking what makeup I was wearing. I was literally just wearing um, moisturizer and this uh, lip balm and it looks so good, so. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows next because I just can't do the rest of my makeup unless my eyebrows are done. They're such like a vital part of the face, you know? They kind of just like set the face for me so i need to do them for my brows i've been using this by a brand called sunny space which is actually a filipino brand i know a lot of you guys are filipino so hi and i think the reason why i like this pencil so much is because a lot of the shades um for brown is very like ashy whereas my hair is quite warm so it can look really weird and like gray tone if i don't use something that has like a warm undertone so this is like perfect for my brows. I have the worst eyesight ever. So if you ever see any of my tutorials and things that is not blended or like what the hell is she doing is because <laughs> I can't see. Like my eyesight is so bad. I'm meant to wear glasses all the time. I don't because I find them really uncomfortable on my face. 
contact lenses. I don't wear those anymore because I do really like wearing contact lenses, but it sounds kind of weird and I feel like only people who wear glasses will be able to relate to this, but I'm so used to my own eyesight, like seeing things badly, if that makes sense, and blurry that when I wear contact lenses, it freaks me out because everything's HD. I can see people's faces and all the imperfections on my face and I just don't like it. So I don't wear contact lenses anymore. They actually look a little bit too perfect at the moment. I kind of like it when they're a little bit more like, you know, I mean, whatever, it's fine. We'll just brush them out a bit. For my eyes, you guys know I don't really like eyeshadow mainly because I can't do it very well. Recently, when I've been doing a red lip or just like every day, I like using the new Hoolas. So this one is caramel. They also have one that is toasted, which is so nice. It's literally like the perfect like deep brown. Just take a fluffy brush and put this all over my lid. For me, I kind of do like an evil or idle rule. So if my eyes are like super intense, then I'll go for a really nude, simple lip. If I'm wearing a bright red lipstick, then I don't like like lashes and liner and that kind of stuff. It's just not my thing. Not for every day anyway. If it's an event or something, then yeah, why not? I do actually want a slight wing, but I don't want it to be black. Use a brown pencil. This one is by Barry M and it's like the perfect kind of tip for that anyway, so. Now it's time for mascara and I think this is my most asked question like in life ever is if I'm wearing fake lashes, what ones I'm wearing or if I'm wearing lash extensions. All I wear is this mascara, it's by Tarte, it's called the Lights Camera Lashes. I don't think they have this in the UK because I always get these in Sephora when I go to like New York or LA. It does do shipping to the UK, I really, 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 really recommend this. This is my favourite mascara ever. Whenever I use it, people ask me what fake eyelashes I'm using and I'm just like... It's a mascara. I had too much on my bottom lashes. I don't like too much on my bottom. Can I just say that my lashes haven't always been like this. They used to be really thin at one point, completely non-existent because I got into lash extensions like heavily for a while. And I started using a lash serum, which I'll link down below. And it just completely brought back my lashes even more than what I'd ever had before. So. If you want to grow back your lashes, I'm going to link it down below. That's all I want to do for the eyes right now. I might go in and deepen it a little bit more once the lip is on, but I'm going to move on to the big for bronzer. I'm just going to use the same one I used on my eyes because it's like the perfect shade for my skin tone. I kind of want to go for the sunburn-ish kind of look. It's so cute and summery and I actually got sunburn in Bali. So this nose thing, like I genuinely had that for a couple days when I came back, which actually really hurt that's the first time i've been sunburned and it freaking hurt so bad powder really really quickly you guys know the go-to the one i always use i always feel so bad for showing this in every video it's the laura mercier translucent setting powder but i genuinely just haven't found anything that's as good as this like it's so good i don't actually use this every day i prefer um blotting sheets for a day-to-day -day basis but when i'm wearing makeup like this you kind of have to use a setting powder if you have oily skin. Please let me know because I do want to try something new. I'm just hooked. Like super, super hooked. I'm going to bring this bronzer like right onto my cheekbones so it kind of acts like a blush as well. Because I've been really liking what is my hair doing right now. I've been really liking like the blush bronze look, if that makes sense. Yeah, I've been using this blush by Laura Mercier and it's like a, um, oh, blonde. <laughs> this is in the shade Blaze. Now I actually use this on my lips sometimes as well. It's a really nice color, but I'm gonna just like layer it on top of my bronzer not actually on the apples of my cheeks more up here for that again like sun-kissed vibe it's like that perfect in the sun kind of color oh to everyone ask me if i'm going to be going to see bts this year yes i am i'm going to be going on the first of june and at wembley i met so many of you last time so hopefully there'll be more of you again okay before i do highlight i actually want to do my lips because i'm just obsessed with this lip color i want to put on right now it is the shade 
Major by Sunny's Face again. They don't do lip liner, so I'm going to use my Kylie one in the shade Victoria. It's like the same kind of shade. One of my lips is bigger than the other one. What is that sound? Oh my god. swatched on my hand and I was like wow this could be major <laughs> major it's called major highlight I'm gonna use the highlighting sticks from sunny face again sorry I know like product heavy from them but I got sent this stuff like yesterday and I've been dying to try it this has a slight um like bronze to it as well oh my god my nose looks super <laughs> super bronze I went a bit OTT my bad usually these sticks I really hate because they like kind of like stretch your skin but this one's pretty easy i don't know if it's because it's melted because it's hot or whether it's just like that i don't know the formula seems really nice i use a little bit of this nars radiant booster over the top just for that extra glow i'm gonna add a few faux freckles i'm just gonna use the same brown pencil i used on my eyeliner do a few very very natural you might not be able to see them on camera but you will definitely be able to see them in person it doesn't matter if they're like different shapes or some being really pigmented compared to other ones that's kind of what you want oh this is cute actually <laughs> i was kind of against this but it looks kind of cute can you guys see i'm just doing them where i naturally get freckles so i get them just like across underneath my eyes and over my nose I'm really jealous. My brother's freckles are so much nicer than mine and he doesn't appreciate them. Taking my finger and just like dabbing them in so it doesn't look too fake and they look more like faded rather than like dots on my face. So this is the finished look. I think I'm gonna stop here. I was gonna like intensify the eyes a little bit more but I kind of like how natural they look. Uh, I think I'm also gonna do a little bun as well because i love doing red lip and a bun i really hope you guys enjoyed this if you did then remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already i'm gonna try and pre-film as much as i can before my operation so let me know down below what you want to see instagram and everything else is always linked down below as well but i love you guys so much and i will see you next sunday